Marchand and Vogue, two names that are synonymous for luxury, recently hosted a party to honor the Optical Women's Association choice for Woman of the Year. This is the third year that the two industry giants collaborated, and this year's event was over the top. Guests enjoyed the open bar and decadent hors d'oeuvres high atop the Standard Hotel's famed Boom Boom Room. The 360-degree view of Manhattan was nothing short of breathtaking. Marchand proudly launched three new brands to their already glamorous list, Valentino, Salvador Ferragamo, and Nine West. Valentino, class, sophistication, and ultra-feminine details are just a few ways to describe the brand. What's unique about Valentino is the focus on offering consumers unique, original designs unlike any other company in the industry. Famed designer Salvador Ferragamo started designing fashion-forward shoes back in the 70s and has become one of the industry leaders in high-end fashion. His flirty and modern designs are a welcomed and fabulous addition to the Marsh Online. Nine West has everything you need to live your life in style. The designs go from super sexy to ultra comfortable, making them a fashion force to be reckoned with. Marshawn, who is always on the cutting edge of style, has added Nine West to their already impressive array of designer eyewear. Three hot new brands and one ultra hot party. Oh, what a night it was. Hello and welcome back to EBTV. I'm Deborah. Studies supported and experts agree, kids' eyes have the greatest need for protection from the sun. Because their crystalline lenses have not yet matured, the eyes of children under the age of 10 are much more vulnerable to UV damage. Studies show that awareness is low on the part of parents today about the need to protect their children's delicate eyes. The 2012 sunglass survey conducted by the Vision Council revealed that while 74% of respondents wear sunglasses for UV protection, only 58% have their children wear sunglasses. This issue presents a perfect opportunity for ECPs to educate parents and kids about the importance of UV protection for the eyes. It also presents a business opportunity in selling kids sunglasses. Create a one-two punch for getting your pint-sized patients into protective sunglasses by bolstering your education efforts with an assortment of appealing sunwear and other UV busting options such as transitions lenses in the dispensary. Here are some tips on merchandising and marketing kids sunglasses. Tip number one, provide comfortable pricing. Kids sunwear, after all, is put through the rigors and can be prone to breakage and loss, so keeping the price down for non-prescription sunwear is advised by many ECPs. Some recommend pricing below $50 at retail. Tip number two, deliver added value. Encourage parents to buy, offering a value-added package. Some ECPs package the sunglasses in a cute beach-ready bag with a matching hat, a swim ring, sunscreen, a squirt gun, and a brochure on how young eyes develop and why UV protection is so important for kids. Tip number three, create an eye-catching display. With kids as the focus, the best marketing for this product niche will be colorful and fun. Try using oversized stuffed animals throughout your dispensary to catch younger kids as well as their parents' attention. Tip number four, offer clips for kids. For kids in the need of vision correction, memory metal frames that come with polarized sun lens clip-ons with 100% UV protection are a good option. Tip number five, offer photochromics for kids. For those kids in need of prescription sunglasses, many ECPs today say they recommend photochromics which keep things simple for kids and parents alike. Tip number six, offer UV contacts for kids. A large number of kids over the age of 10 use contact lenses, so recommending a product that has UV protection, like Vistacon's AccuView lenses, are a good option for kids. Kids have these wonderful big pupils and a particularly clear lens inside the eye that allows a lot of UV light in. And without sun protection, damage can contribute to the risk of cataracts and macular degeneration later in life. ECPs have a responsibility to inform parents of these risks and prescribe protective sunwear to our most vulnerable patients. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time.